Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well and staying positive and healthy during this uh, pandemic and quarantine time. Uh, this is a video brought to you by the FHSS counseling cell and I am your counselor Suniti Barwa. Also I will be linking my details uh, below in the video where you can reach me if you have any issues that you would like to talk about or if you have any queries or if you you know want to just speak to someone you're feeling low in the particular situation currently and you want to reach out so please feel free to reach out to me my email id is suniti.barwa90 at gmail.com and my number is 995796280 it will be flashed below for your convenience so uh, today for uh, this short session that uh, I made a video on for you all is uh, to focus more on the emotional part okay so during this time there can be you know a lot of emotional issues that grip us you know um, just feeling anxious scared panicking we don't know what to, you know believe there is so much information out there and most of the time we don't know what is the truth and how much of it is it is a myth okay so please read your facts well before you come to any conclusion guys do not just jump into any conclusion and get scared rely on you know uh, proper sources for information during this time and if you are having the paper or reliable news please go for that don't just follow anything on social media and then get scared and panic because this time is really really sensitive period everyone around you is just feeling maybe you know very cut off your whole routine has stopped and also you know it can be like uh, people are just sharing things and we don't know if it is good or not if something negative might happen to us so all these factors are there okay please rely on uh, you know proper sources for your news Secondly, I want you guys to know that this is a time that you can utilize for, you know, your communication. You can communicate better with your family uh, during this time because it's just you guys, right? Everyone, we are surrounded by our loved one and we are not going out anywhere. We are not meeting anyone else. So uh, it is best that we, you know, utilize whatever it is that we have and we are having our family now. So it is very important to focus on that. Also, from your school side you know we are there to support you if you need any kind of support so if you want to reach out to your counselors you can do that you can also reach out to your teachers and uh, you know if you need any help um, now during this time most of our routine has been disrupted if you would agree to it so you know we all had a routine of you know going to school or doing our work or you know even if it is like meeting our friends and just having fun all the routine has now been stopped so being at home you might not know what to do or you might spend your entire time just you know watching tv or being on phone so please understand that you know watching tv or being in phone yes it is a proper way maybe to spend your time now you might feel like that but the harmful effects of screen time as you all know is still going to be there if you are going to be on your mobile phones for very long it is going to hamper your eyesight it is also going to hamper you know your uh, just cognitive power in general it is going to cause problems with your sleep you will not get proper sleep and at this time it is important that we are eating healthy taking rest and being on social distancing because our immunity has to be high we need to have good immunity this time is also you know seasonal change time as you guys already know uh, during this period when we are shifting into spring spring time you know when we are shifting into april month most of us you know we'll fall sick uh, i hope the video is fine uh, we will fall sick uh, because of the change in weather and because of the dust and just you know generally the transition from a cold weather to a hot weather so at this time it is important now because of the 
you know this virus spread that we remain healthy and we do not engage in things that make us unhealthy so engaging on your phone is going to you know be very detrimental for you so please again have a routine for that i know that you might feel like what else can we do there but this is a time to really connect with yourself if there is any hobby or anything that you wanted to learn then please utilize that time connect with your family if you are connecting with your friends or if there is any hobby that uh, you know you want to learn which is online then whatever time you are spending on your phone or tv please make sure that it is a useful time also and also please don't exceed your time limits which your parents give all right now is also a time to catch up with your studies if you know there have been any topics or any kind of uh, you know things which you found difficult or maybe you want to just do revision you can do this time to catch up with your studies also and any kind of books please utilize your time in reading uh, all you know all the books and all the studies that is there and whatever classes or whatever help you can get from your teachers please go ahead with that um also guys i wanted to talk about uh, you know the emotional part here at least uh, so during this time um it can be very difficult because we don't know whom to reach out to we had a particular routine like i said it has been disrupted we are used to just talking to our friends or meeting them but now you know we are not going to be able to do that so at this time it is important that you channelize your own emotions so one activity which i want to tell you is that you should just have a notebook uh, any notebook and a pen okay a notebook and a pen and just note down whatever it is that you are feeling okay suppose you feel a uh, very overwhelmed you know you just want to step out and your parents are telling you don't go out it might feel frustrating just sitting at home so you know if you feel frustrated then just sit down and write that you know i'm feeling so frustrated and i just want this period to be over whatever it is that is coming to your mind you write allow it to uh, just go become empty from yourself okay because if we bottle up the emotions then they stay with us and it is not at all healthy for us it makes us very very stressful and it is going to cause fights and conflicts because we are all just you know in we are stuck together right right now so it's it can feel like oh it's so much it's too much it can feel overwhelming so release your emotions by just writing about it and once you're done writing once you feel better then focus on what you can do see we are going to have so many limitations we can't go out we can't meet our friends we can't do so many things that we do usually or we want to do normal life has become a luxury now right so what is it that you can do you focus on that if you're feeling very restless maybe you can do a workout maybe you can put some music and just dance and feel a bit better maybe you can do a short video call to your friend and just share but again please be aware that too much of screen time is going to very be detrimental for you and and uh, you know it is going to hamper your sleep cycle also so whatever use that you are doing please do in short bouts okay short short times and also uh, what i want you all to do is to draw every day if you draw something every day then you will feel more connected to yourself so art or anything artistic is you know an expression of ourselves so if anyone is not much into drawing you can you know definitely go for music or dance or anything else but drawing is the easiest just picking up a sketch pen or a crayon and just drawing something that we like there are lots of options available online on things that you can draw or any kind of art based activity that you can do we would also share some with you all and if you have any questions you can reach out to us one on one because we have provided the number and email so you can reach out and we can also provide you with some stress busting activities uh, once you share your problem with us so we can give you something suited for you and also i want you to know that this particular situation which has become normal for us now just being stuck at home please remember it is temporary the lockdown will come down and then we can all resume our life but till then it is up to all of us to just take care of each other and support each other and you know just go through this period with a lot of love and care whatever it is that you're feeling please express it and please have good clear communication do not use anything negative for yourself also don't say like i am not good 
or I'm bad. Don't use any negative words for yourself and use positive and loving words for your family members. Focus on what is it that you need, what your family needs and how you can help them and just uh, help each other take care of each other also uh, i want you all to know that uh, you know i wanted to uh, you know talk about uh, you know setting a routine also but i think uh, you know like you all might have already become you know part of a particular routine being at home so no matter what please stick to a routine that way you can take care of your physical health you can take care of your food your sleep you can also take care of your work any work you need to complete and uh, also guys uh, one thing that you can practice is a gratitude jar so as your counselor i would recommend that uh, you know you take a bowl or you take a jar or you even can take a box where every day you can write the things that you are grateful about let's say you take a small sheet of paper and you write that i'm grateful for my family i'm grateful for my pet i'm grateful for my healthy body i'm grateful for my friends whatever it is that you're grateful for you can write that and you can put it in the box and just see every day how many things you can write and put there and at the end of the quarantine you can just see and you will come to know all of the good things that you had with you even though you had no access to the outside you had no access to so many things and only being at home with your family you had so many things to be grateful for okay so please do that and i just hope that this video was helpful for you all please feel free to reach out to us and and uh, please, I hope that you are taking very good care of yourself. And uh, I just want you to know that you are extremely, extremely beautiful and super strong. And take care and wish you all the very best during this time. I hope to see you all soon. Bye.